You're making weekend plans, and I'll have your weekend forecast plus a look at the next seven. Unbelievable videos of uptown after dark, but not enough manpower has Minneapolis police brainstorming new ways to get things under control. Plus, as more businesses embrace a new kind of workplace, tech companies are developing new features to enable it. What this means for you as we rethink what going to work really means. Making history one letter at a time. The Scripps National Spelling Bee has a new champion, and she's already making headlines this morning. And get ready to rock. The May Simpson Band is here in studio to perform live. It's Friday, July 9th. Carol 11 Sunrise starts now. N-E-P-E-T-A, Nepeta. Oh my God! <laughs> Maria, M-U-R-R-A-Y-A. That is correct. <laughs> Good job. Party time. I okay, love it. but can you spell restaurant without looking it up? Probably. This kid is the best in the biz when it comes to spelling, and we want to get in on the wordy shenanigans. Oh, can you spell shenanigans? Gosh. That's another one. Hey, yeah. Sunrisers, tell us a word you always have trouble spelling. All you have to do is text us, 763-797-7215. <laughs> like there's, there's a few. There's yeah, a I'm couple. Sure. There's a long list of words that people always get wrong, it's too. The I and E's. Simple mm -hmm. one for me. I before yeah. E, except mm -hmm. I proceed, but sometimes. Is calendar. I can't spell calendar. calendar. The A and the E on the back end always yeah. Excuse yeah. me. That's an interesting right. one. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yep, uh, more clouds than sun today. Temps will be in the upper 70s. Uh, we will have a period of the day where um, temperatures will be in the, uh, uh, or rather, temperatures will be warmer. However, we'll have a period of the day where temperatures, uh, again, will be warming up and uh, will be close to 80 today. But I want to go here and show you tomorrow maybe an isolated storm uh, with a high of 80, and then temperatures keep on warming up to 87. I was in the wrong spot. Uh, for Sunday, there you'll see more sun. I think Sunday is going to be our sunniest uh, part of the day. Temps a little cooler in the northeastern part uh, of the state. And then as you go into the northwest Wisconsin, still chilly uh, like in the Duluth Superior area. Temps in the 60s. I'll have more on your weekend forecast coming up here in a bit. Alicia. All right. Get to the right spot, guy. 532. Happy Friday if you're just joining us here on Sunrise. It's a quiet start to your Friday morning commute, which is always great to see a live look here. If you're waking up in Anoka Highway 10 drive times to get to 35W. Also looking pretty good, pretty sharp this morning. A big weekend closure, though. The only one I'm tracking that's popping up that's new. 35W, both directions out of Minneapolis will be closed. I'll go over the details coming up a little later. Thanks, Alicia. Well, we are live at the White House this morning. In just hours, President Biden taking executive action to make it easier for you to get a job. Meantime, the president also announcing America's longest war is officially winding down. And we've got new guidance on whether or not you'll need another COVID shot if you're already vaccinated. Tracy Potts breaks it all down from D.C. President Biden signs an executive order today asking the Federal Trade Commission to restrict non-compete agreements that prevent workers from taking a better job with the competition. The White House estimates millions of blue-collar workers are affected. This as new unemployment claims rise, suggesting job growth may be stalling. The president turns his attention to the economy today after announcing some troops will stay in Afghanistan through the end of August. Most are gone. President Biden said he had no choice after the Trump administration promised the Taliban the U.S. would pull out. Once that agreement with the Taliban had been made, staying with a bare minimum force was no longer possible. So let me ask those who want us to stay, how many more? How many thousands more Americans, daughters and sons are you willing to risk? It's a mistake across the board, and I bear, very much fear we're going to feel the consequences in the not too distant future. Also, the FDA and CDC announced for now there's no need for a booster shot, adding that people who get the COVID vaccine are protected from severe disease and death. Please get vaccinated. It will protect you against the surging of the Delta variant. Nearly 160 million Americans are fully vaccinated. Tracy Potts, NBC News. You've probably seen this video floating around social media. Guns blazing, cars racing, people setting things on fire all in the uptown neighborhood. Yeah, the neighborhood has been on edge for over a month since the death of Winston Smith. City leaders are trying to get control of the neighborhood, but say right now they just don't have the manpower. 
You can't hire a cop off of Amazon. You got to make sure that they're trained in, they're recruited, they're sworn in. That all takes time. And you know, from the very beginning, I've talked about a both end approach. You know, not defunding or getting rid of police, but making sure that we can instill accountability in everything that they're doing. Mayor Fry says they're partnering with neighboring departments, working with the feds, and talking to communities to de-escalate the situation. We've got our eye on Elsa this morning. Here's a live look from New York City, where the massive storm is slowly creeping in. That's right. The storm hammering the Atlantic coast with rain and possible tornadoes. You can see trees toppled in North Carolina here, taking out power lines, leaving thousands in the dark this morning. Tropical storm warnings are in effect as far north as Massachusetts, as the storm is expected to reach New England today. All right, switching gears to our Sunrise Live, a 14-year-old from Louisiana is waking up a spelling bee champ this morning, and we're talking about why some people on Twitter were excited here are calling her the new coolest person in the world. Yeah, it's Zayla Avant-Garde is her name. She sailed the victory in the Scripps National Spelling Bee last night, the first African-American winner and only second black champion in the bee's 96-year history. The word that clinched her victory, Mariah, which is a genus of tropical Asiatic and Australian trees. Maria, M-U-R-R-A-Y-A. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, yeah, Zayla, she literally jumped for joy, as you can see there on the stage after winning the contest and lifted the spelling bee trophy high above her head as she should. But the new champ, she's not just incredible with her words. In fact, spelling is her side gig. She's also a basketball prodigy with three Guinness World Records, you guys, for dribbling. Yeah, she's a big deal. She actually says she wants to play in the WNBA someday. So she's pretty cool, has tons of new fans on social media, like Mitchell here who said, you know you're a baller when your last name is literally avant-garde. And then Pat writes, there isn't anything stopping her now. And coming up this morning after sunrise, Zayla's going to be live on the Today Show to celebrate her big win. So tune in at 7 o'clock this morning, again, right after our show. So got us thinking this morning, what uh, is the one word that you always struggle to spell? Be honest with us. Give us a text, 763-797-7215, and we'll share some of yours coming up. There's, I feel like I have a long list. I always, when I type in recommend, mm. CC recommend. or double M, or it's both. both. Yeah. And I always get the little But I like all the little line. tricks, you know, like Mississippi. You have that song when you were growing up, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Yeah. It takes forever to write a <laughs> sentence, know, though. Right? You keep singing everything <laughs> out. It's tough stuff. Guy, what's your word? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I, I think I have a long list as well, but I think... Uh, we just had someone put in recipe and receipt. That one is just like, oh, it's a headache. Good thing we have smartphones. All right, here's a look at your temperatures. Uh, still cool in portions of the northeastern part of the state. Temps more comfortable from uh, St. Cloud down to the Twin Cities metro area. And waking up in Egan this morning. Good morning to you. 35 via Pilot Knob Road. Traffic buzzing along nicely this morning. No crashes or delays, but we do have a weekend closure along the stretch of 35W. Well, more than 3 million Minnesotans have now gotten their first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, but it's not always easy for everyone to get it. And that's where the Autism Society of Minnesota is stepping in. Jennifer Hoff shows you their unique clinic that will be opening soon. The Autism Society of Minnesota's St. Paul building will soon be transformed from office setting to sensory clinic, one of the first in the state to serve people with autism. There's a little justice in bringing an event that is sort of designed specifically for disabled people because they deserve it. The executive director says the group serves up to 14,000 families all across the state whose loved ones often have anxiety about unfamiliar experiences and changes in routine. Getting a shot can be especially upsetting. Where I can wait my turn to get the vaccine. Wilson partnered with the Multicultural Autism Action Network to create this video that walks people through that process. It's really telling a story about what to expect. Marin Christensen Hoffer's son was diagnosed when he was three and she teamed up with Fatima Molas to support other parents. My job is to make sure that they understand what is at risk and what's at stake here. Molas' son also has autism, and together they're providing the first-of-its-kind clinic where nurses will come to you, whether in a private room or the parking lot. There are so many people who say, 
that the barrier is I can't sit in the waiting room or wait in the line. They'll also administer two vaccines, Pfizer to anyone 12 and up, or the single shot Johnson & Johnson to accommodate whether someone is capable of coming back. Interpreters will also be on hand. Our goal is really that we don't want anyone to come unsuccessfully. We, we People that come here, I think we will be able to find a way to make it happen. Making vaccinations more equitable to help Minnesota continue to make progress in the pandemic. In St. Paul, Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News. The clinic is coming up on July 15th, and you can register online now for one of the 80 or so appointments that are available. You can find a link in the story at care11.com. They're really trying to do their best to make it, you know, a good experience for yeah. anyone who wants a shot. Well, coming up, brain rehab for COVID-19 long haulers. I want my life back, and I don't know when or if it will ever be the same. How Mayo Clinic is using a program designed for concussion patients to treat people with lingering brain fog from COVID. Plus, stop paying full price on your rent. The three things you can do to drop your monthly bill. And get ready to party. The May Simpson Band is gearing hey. up to get down for you this morning. Stick around till 6 for a live show.